When people think of SpaceX, they immediately associate it with Elon Musk. But what if we told you he's not the one running the show? Behind SpaceX's groundbreaking achievements is a powerhouse leadership team, some of whom you may not even know. A few years ago, Musk made a strategic decision to step back from key operations at Starbase, now SpaceX's official headquarters, entrusting his most capable lieutenants to take the reins. The result? The Starship program has advanced at an unprecedented pace, pushing the boundaries of space exploration like never before. So, who are the real masterminds driving SpaceX's success? Stay tuned as we uncover the hidden figures behind the company's meteoric rise, only on today's TechMap episode. Anyway, our next goal is 100,000, and we need your support to get there. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. We appreciate your help. Thank you. Elon Musk runs not one, but six major companies. Tesla, SpaceX, X, The Boring Company, Neuralink, and XAI. Additionally, at present, he takes a new role under the Trump administration, the face of the Department of Government Efficiency. So the question is, how can he balance all those roles? An article published in 2020 referred to his special strategic management technique called Themed Day. For example, he works at SpaceX on Monday and Tuesday, then at Tesla on Wednesday, and Thursday returning to SpaceX on Friday. However, the flight logs from Elon Musk's private jet make it evident that Tesla is his top priority, with SpaceX following closely behind. Obviously, this schedule does not entirely align with SpaceX's intense workload, especially as the Starship program remains in development and advances to testing its Block 2 hardware. With NASA's Artemis III mission approaching and Musk pushing for a more aggressive Starship flight cadence, managing these demands requires a more strategic approach, one that hinges on a strong leadership team. The truth is, Elon Musk doesn't need to oversee SpaceX's daily operations. He simply sets the strategic vision for the company, overseeing major initiatives like Starship and Starlink. In reality, Gwynne Shotwell is the driving force behind SpaceX, ensuring the company consistently meets the ambitious milestones Musk envisions. She oversees SpaceX's day-to-day -day as president and COO. In addition to Shotwell, there are other top executives running Elon Musk's space tech company, including Mark Juncosa, another Musk lieutenant, who was previously in charge of Starlink, the satellite internet constellation, he is now involved in critical engineering projects and oversees operations at Starbase, SpaceX's Texas launch facility. Along with Mark, there is Kathy Luders, general manager of Starbase, as well as one of SpaceX's official spokespersons at Starbase. Kathy Luders served as NASA Human Spaceflight Chief. After stepping down from NASA in April 2023, she has been hired by SpaceX to hold a general manager position in Starbase, and her task is to report directly to Gwynne Shotwell. Brett Johnson, who manages financial operations, budgeting, and risk management. Since joining SpaceX in 2011, he has played a crucial role in securing funding and optimizing financial strategies. The next one is David Harris, the acting general counsel at SpaceX, is responsible for overseeing the company's legal affairs and ensuring compliance with regulatory requirements. His contributions include managing legal risks and providing strategic legal advice to support SpaceX's ambitious projects. Sales executive Stephanie Bednarek leads sales efforts, contributing to business growth and development. Jonathan Hofeller, the vice president of private astronaut recruitment, at SpaceX, is responsible for spearheading the company's efforts to attract and manage private astronaut clients. His role involves strategic planning, client engagement, and ensuring the successful execution of private astronaut missions. On the SpaceX board, you'll find Matthew Dunn, Senior Director of Government Affairs, who manages interactions with government entities and ensures legislative compliance, and Phil Alden, Vice President of Starship Production, who drives critical initiatives in Starship Production.
So among those bright spots, which one impresses you the most? Let me and other viewers know your answer and the reason behind it in the comments section below. Elon Musk's reduced focus on SpaceX was made clear by his resignation from a key role in Starbase, which serves as the rocket company's official headquarters. This comes from a big reorganization in 2022. A then notable announcement revealed that SpaceX president and chief operating officer Gwyn Shotwell, along with Vice President Mark Juncosa, two of the most influential executives at the company, would oversee operations at the Starbase facility. Their involvement signaled a shift as Elon Musk redirected his focus toward Twitter, stepping back from some of his day-to-day -day responsibilities at the spaceport. At that time, Twitter was in a precarious situation. After acquiring the platform for a staggering $44 billion, an inflated price that saddled the company with immense debt, Musk faced immediate challenges. Sweeping changes, or even the mere threat of them, spooked advertisers, causing a sharp decline in revenue. Musk himself acknowledged that Twitter was losing billions annually and could face bankruptcy unless the controversial plan to monetize account verification through a paid subscription proved successful. However, while Musk entrusted Starship operations to his senior colleagues, this by no means suggested a delay in the program or a diminished focus on Mars. Colonizing the Red Planet remains his ultimate ambition, making every strategic decision a crucial step toward that goal. In a notable personnel shift, Shamal Patel, the senior director of Starship Operations, prepared to leave Starbase after more than two years of working on the next-generation rocket in Texas. He was set to return to Cape Canaveral, where he was previously stationed before his promotion. Meanwhile, SpaceX quietly brought on Omeyad Afshar, a Texas-based Tesla operations leader, as a vice president of Starship production. These leadership moves underscore the company's urgency in getting Starship off the ground. Both Shotwell and Juncosa, longtime figures at SpaceX, continue to play key roles in ensuring the company meets its ambitious objectives. Often regarded as SpaceX's secret weapon, Gwyn Shotwell has played a pivotal role in the company's success, particularly in advancing the ambitious Starship program. Since its inception in 2012, Elon Musk projected that Starship's development would require an investment of $5 billion to $10 billion. By 2024, SpaceX planned to allocate approximately $2 billion to further refine the rocket system. It's important to acknowledge that SpaceX experienced significant financial losses, $968 million in 2021 and $559 million in 2022. The company only managed to turn a modest profit of $55 million in the first quarter of 2023. There's no doubt that Starship has created a substantial financial burden. Even though Musk remains one of the wealthiest individuals on the planet, funding such an expensive program single-handedly is not feasible. This is where Shotwell's leadership and strategic acumen come into play. As SpaceX's president and top dealmaker, she has been instrumental in sustaining and scaling the company for over two decades. One of Shotwell's most impactful contributions has been securing lucrative government contracts, such as NASA's scientific missions launched aboard the Falcon Heavy. NASA's ambitious projects demand cutting-edge technology and significant financial backing, making its contracts highly valuable. To establish a long-term partnership with the space agency, Shotwell leveraged her sales expertise, convincing NASA to place a billion-dollar bet on SpaceX back in 2008, at a time when the company desperately needed funding. Her efforts didn't stop there. She continued securing billions of dollars in additional launch contracts across various sectors, reinforcing SpaceX's financial foundation. Without these critical revenue streams, SpaceX would struggle to implement and test crucial Starship upgrades from hot staging and redesigned Raptor engine components to improvements in the water deluge system. 
Ultimately, rocketry remains an industry where only the well-funded can compete. And Shotwell has ensured that SpaceX not only competes, but thrives. Shotwell is notable for his leadership style, which combines transformational and democratic approaches. She is characterized by a hands-on management approach, actively engaging with various aspects of the company, including testing new technologies and ensuring safety standards. Shotwell fosters a culture of transparency and accountability, encouraging open communication channels where employees at all levels can contribute their ideas. Her strategic acumen has been crucial in navigating complex operational challenges and securing valuable contracts with entities like NASA and the U.S. military. Under her leadership, SpaceX has cultivated a culture of boldness and resilience, where calculated risk-taking is encouraged as a means to drive innovation and progress. Shotwell emphasizes the importance of forming strong business relationships, which has been instrumental in securing partnerships and contracts. But what truly sets her apart is her ability to balance Elon Musk's ambitious vision with practical operational management. Take for example, she pursues the ambition of Mars Colony as much as Elon does. But unlike her boss, she has a financially viable plan to accomplish this. You know that getting to Mars wasn't going to be cheap. The rocket required to take a crew of people on the months-long journey will be massive. So she utilizes the concept of residual capability to drive the company's growth. This strategy involves building profitable business lines around existing technology to support longer-term projects. A prime example is Starlink, SpaceX's satellite internet network. Initially, SpaceX's mission was to make human life multiplanetary, but Shotwell recognized the potential for satellite internet to create a sustainable business on Earth while developing technology needed for future Mars colonies. By launching their own satellites, SpaceX could reduce launch costs over time and generate long-term profits. This approach not only supports SpaceX's financial goals, but also contributes to the development of communication networks that will be essential for a Mars colony. Shotwell's strategic vision has been instrumental in turning Elon Musk's ambitious goals into incremental, achievable steps, making her a pivotal figure in SpaceX's success. When it comes to the success of both the Starship and Starlink projects, it is impossible not to mention the great contribution of Mark Juncosa, Vice President of Vehicle Engineering at SpaceX. He has been a pivotal figure in the company's journey since joining in 2005. Initially, Juncosa rose through the ranks quickly, leveraging his raw talent and passion for engineering, which caught the attention of Elon Musk. His early days at SpaceX were marked by rapid advancement, becoming Senior Director of Structures Engineering in 2011 and Vice President of Structures Engineering in 2013. Juncosa's contributions have been instrumental in developing key SpaceX projects, including the Starlink satellite constellation and the Falcon rockets. More recently, he has played a crucial role in overseeing the Starship program and Starbase operations ensuring the company's ambitious projects remain on track. His leadership and technical expertise have been invaluable to SpaceX's mission to revolutionize space technology and exploration. Like Shotwell, Juncosa is recognized for a leadership style that closely aligns with Elon Musk's vision and expectations. He has a deep understanding of Musk's goals and is skilled at translating them into actionable tasks ensuring projects stay on track and meet ambitious deadlines. Juncosa is known for his proactive approach to problem solving, addressing setbacks and delays with energy and dedication. His leadership is also marked by emotional intelligence, fostering an environment where team members feel supported and motivated, which is crucial in managing the high-pressure projects typical of SpaceX. Having worked his way up the ranks over more than a decade, Juncosa is one of Musk's most trusted engineers, with a leadership built on a foundation of experience and trust. This allows him to effectively manage complex engineering projects, such as Starlink, and play a pivotal role in SpaceX's success.